Good morning, oil traders. It is Tuesday, September 5th, and it is 7.54 a.m. here on the East Coast. I'm recording this a little earlier than I do usually, uh, simply because I think it's interesting what's going on this morning. Um, as, of course, is always the case, uh, it appears that I sold my long, yes, on, uh, on Friday, far too soon, um, as we're uh, testing 48 again. Um, so I missed out on a uh, potential profit of an extra 2% on my 2x ETF. Um, that's the Horizon Crude Oil Bull ETF, uh, ticker symbol HOU that you can see here. Um, yeah, that's that kind of burns a little bit, but uh, I mean, it happens to me all the time, so it is what it is. That being said, I do welcome the jump to 48. It gives me the opportunity to buy again the long near 48. Um, basically, I'm a buyer of that long, uh, excuse me, a short buyer anywhere above about 47.85. Um, 47.85, 48, above 48, of course, I'm a buyer um, for a short. Um, uh, betting against it. So that's the ticker symbol HOD, uh, also uh, from Horizon, um, Crude Oil 2X Bear ETF. You can check that out if you're interested. Um, but uh, if we manage to stay up at this level or higher, I'm going to be purchasing that short again. Uh, you guys can see my current portfolio holdings on my tradingjournal.ca account here. You can see that I am once again very heavily into the bear territory, um, holding, uh, what is that, five short positions against my one long. That one long, of course, has been there forever. <laughs> um, we're uh, heading into month five now, so it, well, yeah, I'm, let, let's just say I'm patient. Um, I've been going back and forth with a uh, with a viewer, Anton, uh, who uh, commented uh, about uh, my approach to uh, holding indefinitely, um, or he didn't say indefinitely, but uh, holding unrealized losses until they turn into profits. Um, and I do want to clarify that it's not my intention to hold them indefinitely. Um, I do have plans on exiting um, at a loss if need be. The reality is that in the 13 months that I've been trading, um, which you, you guys can see the results on my tradingjournal.ca account, you can go back in, um, in history and scroll through the different uh, pages going back into 2016. I simply haven't been forced into that situation yet. Um, simply the volatility in crude has been such that I managed to get out at break even or at small profits on almost all my positions. Um, simply lessons learned early on that I just need to be more patient. And um, you can argue it both ways. I could be, you know, I could take that loss and reemploy the, uh, redeploy the capital in different ways and make better returns. Um, I'm aware of all those uh, arguments. Um, this is a strategy that I'm trying for now, um, for better or worse, um, time will tell. Um, but uh, uh, you can check out Anton. He's uh, started a blog at uh, Bear Market Trader. I think it's Bear Market Trader. Yes, bearmarkettrader.com. Uh, I'll include a link in the description of the video here um, if you want to check that out. Uh, he's only just started his blog, but it's a great opportunity to get in on somebody's early um, attempts at trading and follow along as, as he learns and, uh, and get a conversation going. Um, my initial exchange with Anton has been very pleasant and he seems to be a, a trader who is well aware of the risks and uh, welcomes the opportunity to learn, um, which I think is fantastic. Um, because that's that's absolutely my approach as well. Um, I don't claim to know anything. I just claim to have the guts to try and uh, win or lose. Um, it is what it is, and I'm showing you guys what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and hopefully we can all learn from one another. So much uh, thanks to Anton for reaching out, and check him out. So uh, back to what I'm thinking today, uh, basically if we manage to hold at this level where we are, I'm going to be buying short um, and then I will be aiming to buy long if we dip. So basically if I manage to get in on this short, I would be looking to buy long uh, somewhere around the mid 47s. If, I, if we end up 
dropping, which were just about 8 o'clock a.m., so it's quite possible that we're going to see another move this morning, either up or down. If we end up dropping before the U.S. market open or North American market open, um, then I will be looking to enter a long position closer to 47, which would be about 25 cents below my 47.25 short. Um, hopefully we stay where we are so I can get into that short and open the opportunity to get into a long somewhere near the 47 and a half range. Um, but that's my thinking. Um, this taps into what I alluded to over the weekend in my uh, weekly review uh, about tweaking my strategy to better prepare for a runaway market, either bull or bear. Um, basically, uh, with what I've been doing, I've been sometimes too heavily one-sided and I'm trying to find a way of adjusting my approach, my strategy, whatever you want to call it, to better balance the risk associated with what I'm doing. Um, basically taking positions and holding unrealized losses, just as Anton mentioned, um, such that I can uh, avoid a runaway market, um, basically where it just keeps going in one direction and I don't want to keep building against it, um, thinking that I know better than everyone else because I know nothing. What do you guys know? Let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards the end of trading here on the East Coast of North America towards 5, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck, happy trading, cheers.